I want to talk uh, a little bit about the performances you got from Willem Dafoe and Robert Patterson. I mean, these are these are really incredible performances. Uh, Robert, how how are you approaching uh, your directing style for a film like this? Are you are you telling William and Robert like everything, or are you leaving some things? up for surprise and interpretation. Remind me to talk about blocking, by the way, after this. Yeah, yeah, I mean, throw it in there. I was going to, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the script is quite specific. Uh, A lot of times when someone, like, scratches their nose or adjusts their glasses or, like, licks a a cigarette paper, like, that's all written in in the script. Um, uh, So the the script's quite specific. And then... um, Jaron and I typically like kind of sh- sh- w- when we work together, we each shot list the film separately and then come together and do kind of like a, a greatest hits. I feel like uh, I- I- Jaron tends to elevate my stuff and I tend to streamline his stuff or or something. Yeah, I think I tend to be fancier than you. Yeah, you know, or and- like every- yeah. Uh, but you definitely you always have the opening sequences and the closing sequences and like you and, know, yeah, the montage and, and, is obviously you know yeah. pretty self explanatory. But 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 it but it's very much. I mean, if you know if anyone has anything good to say about the cinematic language or bad <laughs> of my movies, like you know, it's very much a collaboration. We come to this together, and with and in fact, we re- I, I was so like uh, the the green light for this happened very quickly, and suddenly we were like in Nova Scotia, so. So, 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 so the sort of, we each go off into our corners and come together. There was a lot of stuff that we were just kind of doing at the same time. And we had Dave Cullen, the storyboard artist, uh, and, and Jaron and I would basically be like acting the scenes out more, more or less like, like in my office, uh, and then, and, and trying to, you know, communicate with Dave what, what this would be. So before, so with all my films, before the actors, come to location like we're not like i mean come to where we are where we're shooting <laughs> yeah the movie uh uh we've we've got all pretty much all of the the camera work uh figured out all, all of the and, and the blocking figured out um there there, there are limits to that there, in this movie is two people where the witch had more people and there's stuff you just can't figure out unless sure yeah absolutely get, yeah but 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 more or less the block like there is a rehearsal period and it's not to find performance uh, it's to, so that the actors can learn their blocking in relation to the camera so that when we get to set, it can feel somewhat naturalistic instead of like meat puppets hitting marks. Sure. Uh, and, and also to get a sense of, to get a sense of pace. Um, and, and I don't, and I kind of want actors to kind of, uh, hold back and, 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 and not, and not go for it. If I, if I was directing theater, it, I would, be doing i would i would want it would be entirely different but this is how i approach movies with the witch there was also a little bit of like a a puritan boot camp where they learned how to milk goats and start fires and stuff like that but for this movie willem dafoe learned how to knit and do some things but we didn't teach rob how to do anything because uh his character is not supposed to know what he's doing um yeah but but uh but basically even though the, the idea was to not perform willem dafoe comes from theater and has more energy than anyone ever. Um, and so he was just given 110% like all the time, uh, ready to then give like 300% when we got to set. And Rob uh, is not used to the theatrical discipline of rehearsal and, and in fact had, uh, which I didn't know until more recently that he had also like some minor PTSD of, of one play that he did do that he was like fired from uh during the rehearsal period so i think so he he confessed the other day that he was worried he was going to be fired and that's why he was so contained but uh but but the but which of course was no, he was never in jeopardy um of course but yeah. uh but um uh it would that was great because this this added to, to to the to the tension of the characters relationships you know it's willem defoe's lighthouse He's comfortable there. He loves it. And and it's not Robert Pattinson's lighthouse. He's uncomfortable. It's weird, you know. Uh, and and I'm not um, uh, a sadistic Kubrickian manipulator. I, I, I wasn't trying to, like, indulge in that. Uh, I, if anything, I, I, wanted, I, wanted, I want everyone to be happy and skipping down the lane together doing trust falls. Uh, 
that didn't happen. <laughs> but, 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 but like, but, I, but you know, the camera, the camera sees truth. So it all worked out very well. I, I will say that um, it is sometimes talked about, like you know, rehearsals for the actors to sort of learn the blocking and 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 whatnot. And and I'm sorry they feel that way, but a part of it is that uh, it's a it's a rare case when I'm working with Rob that I'm actually you know after a few rehearsals I'm actually in the corner just trying to be as quiet and, and as small as possible. But part of it for me is just to see. You know, because you designed this whole thing, and you you have to make sure the tone of the shots meet meet you know matches the tone of the performances, and it's like a last check yeah. for me to like, does this shot make sense? You know, like is this with a performance? Is it about something else entirely that it's just you know I didn't get on the page, or you know, or is uh, building upon what Rob has and he doesn't see? So that's I'm kind of there, being as small as possible, trying to you know to do that but but i but i think i think i think i think as much as we like and things can change at that yeah point. things can change things do change things change on set not much but <laughs> no. but not much but but they but they do and i think i and then as far as the like this like the performances go you know like like willem's character is very clear on the page and uh and so willem kind of performed a a, a, a 1000% better version of my preconceived notions of what that whole whole thing would, would be. Um, and Rob's character is, is, is more mysterious. He doesn't know, like the character doesn't know who he is. Um, and, 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 and so Rob occasionally would, 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 would perform a moment in a way that was not in line with my preconceived notions. Uh, but was more in line with my intention for the character, and 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 while Willem likes to like, for, you know, Willem can do a movie entirely improvised if he wishes, but he understood why the the re- discipline of rehearsal was useful for this particular movie. But but so so for this movie, you know, Willem was like rehearsing, rehearsing, building to uh, to do something that he knows what it's going to be. But in that moment where, you know, where he's in, in the moment after you say action and, and it happens, that even though it's planned, it's still a spontaneous, it's still spontaneous or, or it would fall flat. Uh, but Rob was trying, really trying to go out of his way to surprise me and Willem and him, him, himself and, would, and, and knowing very much like where the camera was placed because of blocking and also because of his experience working on other movies, like he would try to you know, how far can I take it while, like, while staying within, like, the, the, the rules, the confines of, of what this movie is and what me and Jaren's process is. Mm-hmm.